Hey everybody, so today in maths class we are gonna do sum of subspaces of a vector space. So there are two types of sum, linear sum and direct sum. So first of all let's know what is the definition of the linear sum of two subspaces. So a vector space V over the field F is said to be linear sum of its two subspaces w1 and w2 if every vector v that belongs to the v vector space can be expressed as v is equal to u1 plus u2 where u1 belongs to the w1 subspace and u2 belongs to the w2 subspace. So let's understand this definition of linear sum of two subspaces using an example. So let us suppose that we have a vector space V that is R3 which means this V vector space will contain the elements in the form of triplets. Now let us suppose we have a subspace of this V vector space and that is W1 and this contains the elements in the form of a comma b comma c such that a equal to b but these two are not equal to c and these a b c all are real numbers so this is a subspace w1 of v vector space and now let us suppose there is another subspace of this v vector space and it is called w2 and it contains the elements in the form of 0 comma b comma c and where b and c are real numbers. Now in this w2 subspace the elements are as such that the first number would always be 0. Okay, so now these are the two subspaces and that's the vector space. So according to the linear sum, every element or every vector of this V vector space can be written as the sum of the elements of its two subspaces. That is, every element of this V vector space can be written as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2. So uh, to understand this, let us suppose any element that belongs to this V vector space. Let us suppose that the element that belongs to this V vector space is 1 comma 2 comma 3 so this belong to the v vector space and now we have to write it in this form of the sum of the elements of w1 plus w2 okay so now we know that in the elements of w2 the first number is always 0 okay so now we uh, we need to show that the sum of this 0 plus the number that will come here should be equal to 1 so obviously we would have to write here 1 because 1 plus 0 it would be equal to 1 and now we also know that the elements in case of w1 in that the first number is always equal to second number a is equal to b so definitely the second number here would also be 1 and now we know that this 1 plus the second number here, the uh, the sum of these two numbers should be equal to 2. So definitely we would have to write here 1 because 1 plus 1 would equal to 2. Okay. And now uh, this is the 3 and this should be the sum of this number and this number. Let us suppose anything. But we cannot suppose C here equal to 1 because a equal to b but not equal to C. So let us suppose we have here 2 and now... 2 so here should be 1 because 2 plus 1 would be equal to 3. So now this is the element of the v vector space. This is the element of the w1 vector space sorry w1 subspace that is the subspace of v vector space and this is the element of the w2 subspace. So clearly we have written an element of v vector space as the sum of the elements of w1 and w2. Okay, so this is what uh, linear sum of two subspaces means. And this linear sum, it is denoted by this plus sign. It is denoted by this. Now let's move on to the definition of direct sum of two subspaces. 
A vector space V over the field F is said to be direct sum of its two subspaces W1 and W2 if every vector V that belongs to the V vector space can be uniquely expressed as V is equal to U1 plus U2 where U1 belongs to this W1 subspace and U2 belongs to W2 subspace. So as you would have noticed, the only difference between the definition of the linear sum of two subspaces and direct sum of two subspaces is this word uniquely. So what is the actual difference between the two uh, definitions of these sums, linear sum and direct sum? So to understand this, what, these, what this uniquely word means in the definition of the direct sum of two subspaces, let us go back to the example of the linear sum of two subspaces. So in the example that we have taken in the linear sum of two subspaces, we had this element 1, 2, 3 belonging to the V vector space and we have expressed this element as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2 subspaces. So now let's see whether we can express the same element 1, 2, 3 of the V vector space uh, as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2 in any other way. Let's uh, just see this. So we again consider this element 1, 2, 3 that belongs to the V vector space. And now we have to express it in terms of the sum of the elements of the subspaces W1 and W2. So as we know again that this number would always be 0 and then this 0 plus 1 would make the 1, okay? And now the second number is always equal to this first number in the W1 subspace. So this again will be 1. So if this will be 1, here would also be 1 because 1 plus 1 would make 2. And now we, uh, in the first case, we supposed to take here 2 and here 1 and because that would equal to 3. Let us suppose here some other number. Let us suppose that here is 4, so if here is 4, we would have to take here minus 1 because now 4 and plus uh, this minus 1, it would be equal to this positive 3. So definitely this is again the case in which we have expressed this same element of V vector space as the sum of the another elements of the uh, subspaces w1 and w2 so these can be so this number can be as this element can be expressed as the sum of the some other elements of w1 and w2 which means that there are many ways there are many ways to express the vectors belonging to the V vector space as the sum of the elements of W1 and W2 subspaces of this V vector space, which means there is not a unique way you know, in case of linear sum of two subspaces, there are infinitely many ways to express every vector belonging to the V vector space as the sum of the elements of the subspaces. So this is the difference that in case of linear sum, there are many ways to express uh, as the sum of the vectors of subspaces. But in case of direct sum, there is only one way. There is a unique way to express you know, the uh, vector that belongs to the V vector space as the sum of the elements that belong to the subspaces. So to make you understand more what a direct sum is, let us suppose another example, an example of the direct sum of subspaces. So we have again a vector space that is R3. That means the vectors would be in the form of triplets. And now let us suppose a subspace W1 of this V vector space, but it would not be same. It would contain some different elements. Obviously the elements would be in the form of ABC, but here we have the case such that a would be equal to B would be equal to C. So these all of the three numbers would be equal to 
one another and a b c definitely would belong to the real numbers and but we um, take the w2 subspace same it is the same 0 comma b comma c b and c belong to the real numbers okay so now let us take an element let us suppose the same element 1 2 3 so that you can understand more clearly you know that belongs to the v vector space and now we have to write it as the sum of the elements of w1 and w2 now we know that here it is 0 okay so if here is 0 definitely we would we would have to take here 1 because 1 plus 0 would make 1 and now we know that the first number equal to second number equal to third number which means we would also have to take here 1 and also we would have to take here 1 so if we would have to take here 1 as the second number definitely we would have to take here also 1 because 1 plus 1 would make 2 and now we already have here 1 so definitely we only have one way and that is to write here 2 because 1 plus 2 would make 3 okay so in the case of the example of the linear sum of two subspaces we had an option here that we could write here anything you know and then take the another number here such that the sum of these two numbers makes three but now we do not have a option here in the case of the direct sum of two spaces we already have the one number here and we would have to take two only we could we can take no other number here because if we take any other number the sum would not be 3 so we would have to take here 2 only such that the sum of 2 plus 1 it would make 3 so this is the uh, thing that makes it the direct sum of two subspaces because the uh, element that belongs to the v vector space can only be uniquely expressed as the sum of the elements of the subspaces w1 and w2 so this is the difference between linear sum and direct sum and the linear sum was expressed as w1 plus w2 but this direct sum it is expressed as w1 plus and this circle and w2. So this is the symbol that represents the direct sum of subspaces. So I hope that you would have known the definitions of linear sum and direct sum of two subspaces and the difference between them. So if you have any doubt, just ask me in the comment section. So that's for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.